Okay, before I start, yeah, my name is Diru. I'm going to be the one who's going to be talking. Are we ready? We're ready to rock and roll. Okay, uh, my name is Diru. I'm going to be the one who's going to be uh, presenting today. I guess nobody else is going to come, so you guys are it. Okay. Um, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming because uh, I know in our busy schedule, there's always a million other places you can be. Right? And the fact that you've chosen to come here, sitting there, thinking, at this moment, thinking those thoughts that you're thinking, wondering, what am I going to tell you? It's actually good. So, thank you for doing that. Uh, it means that at some level, you're open to receiving new information. Am I right? Yeah? I don't know whether that, uh, you just want to find out the water or the business aspect of it uh, was presented to you and you're more interested in that a bit. But whatever is the reason, it's good that you're here. You know, uh, so keep your mind open. Since you're already here, I would request that we present here. Make sure that you are, you are here. By that I mean that, you know, sometimes we are in a place, but because of the way we are, very busy and all that, our mind is always all over the place. So physically we might be here, but consciously we are somewhere else. So I hope you can bring your, both your conscious and unconscious presence to here. Okay, so that you can get the information. Because the information that I am about to present to you, it doesn't come from me, it comes from some experts. Okay, all I've done is collated the information and presented it in such a way that you know you, you get to see, you get to receive the information. Now, and since you are here, and if you are not going to be open, then there will be a barrier, a mental barrier. You can take the information in, go back and reevaluate it. Today, Google is a friend, right? Google is a very good friend. You can evaluate and search and find the veracity of the information I'm giving you very easily. But if you block it from coming in, then it's going to be useless. Okay. So, my promise to you is that I'm going to do my level best to make sure that the next one and a half hours or so is going to be one of the best. Okay, when you go away, this information that you're going to get is going to change your life. How do I know that? Because it changed mine. Okay, just like you, until November of 2011, I knew nothing about all of this information. But I was open to it, and I took it in, and then I went and did my own research, and today I am standing here. Okay, so in order to help you to be present Right here, we need to do something. Huh? We need to take this little device which always irritates us at the most inopportune time and put it to silent mode. Can we do that? We put it to silent mode, or better, better still, switch it off. But if you really need to answer a phone call or uh, message somebody or something, please step outside and do it so that we do not disturb the rest of people there. Okay? Thank you. With that in mind, uh, I would like to say something else too. Uh, what you are about to see here today, what you are about to hear, is not a sales speech. Okay, it's not one of those seminars where at the end of the day there will be sales speech after sales speech and telling you to buy immediately, if you don't buy you lose out and all those kind of things. That's not going to happen here. What's going to be happening, what's really going to happen is just a sharing of information from me to you. If that information is compelling enough, you'll be motivated to do something about it. And I hope you do. And I hope you do. Like I said, the information that I'm going to give you is act will actually change you to change mind. Okay? <coughs> now, what happened was in um, up to November of 2011, I didn't know any of this information. So I was just like you, thinking that the Singapore's water is one of the cleanest in the world. It is. Yeah, it is one of the cleanest in the world. If by WHO standard, it is. Because why? The point you said so. Right, more than 30 or 40 years ago, he said that. He said, our water is so clean, you don't need to reboil it. Just take it and drink it from the tap. Yeah, it's good enough. But the problem is, it's a, it's a very clean water, but is it the best water for the body? That's a different issue altogether. And I didn't know about this at all. Okay. Back in uh, November of 2011, as healthy as I looked, as healthy as I thought I was, okay, I was doing a lot of physical activities out there, I couldn't understand why I was constantly falling sick. Not major illnesses, but flu, cough and stuff like that. And not only was I falling sick quite often, but it also took me a long time to recover. I think you are familiar with this thing called the 100-day cough, right? Are you all? Are you all familiar with it? Yeah. So it's that kind of cough that I had. But it looked like a 100-day always stretch to 200 and 300 days. That every time my friend, when they saw me, they said, what's wrong with you? Why are you always sick every time we see you? you know? Because eventually somebody said maybe it's a problem of too much of toxins in your system. So go and get it yourself detoxified. So somebody introduced me to somebody and somebody finally introduced me to 
Desmond and Doris who run a wellness clinic, an alternative therapy kind of wellness clinic in Lucky Chinatown. So I went and saw him and I was doing this food detox to get some toxins out of my system. And then Desmond very slyly said, well since you are here, you're going to sit down there for 45 minutes, why don't you watch this 10 minute video, you know? I've got this amazing machine here, it produces water which changed my life, it changes people's life. Maybe can I just show you a little bit of the video and you just watch it here. And because I'm open, I'm open-minded, I've always been, and I hope you are too. So because I was open-minded, I sat down there, I said, yeah, go ahead, play the, play the video, and I watched it. So, watching that video, and what I saw in there, have you ever seen that video, by the way? Something called International Wellness Report, if you haven't, ask the person who brought you here to try and show you that, and it might open your eyes a little bit. So while I was sitting there, thinking all those kind of thoughts, just like you are sitting there thinking whatever thoughts you are thinking, I was watching this with an open mind and some of the information that was stated there kind of like got me curious, got me picked, got my interest. So, but the next thing that actually happened totally blew my mind a little bit more. And that is when my good friend Desmond, he said, well, you've seen it, will you be interested in trying the water? <laughs> so, when a, when a good salesman like him turns around and says, you want something, that's always a catch, right? How much more money am I going to pay, right? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> but he said, no, 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 you can have the water free. He said, I'll give you five liters of this water. All you do is pay for the container. And I'll give you five liters of this water. And you can come and collect this water from me every day for the next two weeks. And if you need, I'll give it to you for one month. You can just drink it, feel the effects, and then we'll talk about it if you're interested in going further with this. It got me very interested. You know why? Because I started thinking about what is the confidence level that this man must have with his product? That he was willing to give it to you free for you to go and test it. Which organization does that tell him? What is the confidence level that these people and this organization must have in the efficacy of the water and, this, and what they say it can do for them to give this to you? Not a small quantity, mind you. Right? It's five liters per day for one whole month if I needed it. I'm sure you guys have gone for a lot of presentations elsewhere about MLM and stuff like that and where, they, where they've got this miracle product which will cure you of all those things. But it all requires something, right? It all requires something before you can even test it. Am I right? Am I right? It requires a leap of faith to at least pump in 100 or 200 dollars and buy those products to taste it. So think about that. What level of confidence must this company have in the efficacy of its product in order for them to come back and say this to you? So which got me interested, so I said, okay, I've got nothing to lose, I'll take the water and go after all five dollars for the container, right? You buy water for uh, one, one over dollars or three dollars, you buy even water for a small liter. So he gave it to me. So I took it and I tried it for one whole month. But of course, before I went, he said that he needs one promise from me. Which I hope, at the end of this presentation, if you all decide to take that part, that you would hold that to yourself too. Can you? And the promise was that, when I take this water, that you drink it diligently. Don't just keep it at home, drink it diligently and come back and take more. So, replace your drinking water with this for one month. You can drink other stuff that you, you can't do without like coffee or tea or some wine or whatever. But drink this water, drink it diligently, come back and collect the water, make a commitment. If you can do that, I'll give you this water free. Is that too much to ask? Is that too much to ask? Give you free water, you just come back collect it and go and drink. Because if you try it halfway, if you try a little bit and you don't let it really get into your system and you don't feel it, you're doing a disservice to yourself and to other people whom you may touch. Because you will then go out there and say the wrong things to the wrong people. And then at the end of it, they will suffer. You will understand this by the end of this presentation, how powerful this water is and what you can actually do. Fair enough? So I hope by the end of this presentation, if you are motivated to do that, you know, to do that and try it, and try it with volition, try it with a certain amount of commitment. Is that prevent? Yeah? So anyway, I, I tried that water for about a month. And I kind of like got convinced with it because something was happening. You know, I, was, I, I got cured and I was feeling a bit more energetic and stuff. Stuff which you cannot really measure properly, but you, you have a general feeling of it. Okay? So I decided one month later in, in this November, end of November, December of uh, 2011 that I'll buy the machine. And at that time we had to order it from Hong Kong. So I ordered the machine, I got the machine, within a short while and I started drinking it. 
And in the in-between this period, I did a lot of research on the net. And there's a lot of pros and cons in the net, right? There's a lot of things, people saying yes, it's good, and a lot of people saying no, it's not good. So I was there somewhere in between, but I committed to buy the machine, and I started drinking from it. I started taking the trouble to give the water to my parents, uh, to my mom and my sisters and all that. But I wasn't convinced enough to push it as a business, to go and completely be evangelistic about it like how I am today. Okay? Until March. Because March, something happened. Something happened. In one of those causes, seminars that I went to, I met a guy and we got to talking about stuff. And then at the end of that course, as I was talking to him, I was telling him a little bit about the water and what it can do and what I've read about it and all that. So he asked me, will it help my wife? So I said, what's wrong with your wife? And he said, my wife has got this psoriasis. How many of you know what psoriasis is? Yeah? So she had a lot of stuff on her face that was happening. And and, and I said, I don't know, the literature says it, I've read a lot of testimonies, right, about how it cures psoriasis and stuff like that. And mind you, psoriasis, modern medicine cannot cure. They can give you steroidal creams, stronger and stronger steroidal creams, but so far they will tell you there's no cure for it. So I said, let's try it, yeah, spray the strong acid water which is for you as a machine. You spray it on the face and drink about 3 to 5 liters of this water and see what happens. The problem was, I was going off to India that week. So I told this guy, well, I'll give you the water, but I'm going off to India, so in the in-between, if you need the water, please approach Desmond and pick it up from Chinatown, and he will help. That's what happened, and I went off to India. I came back nine days later, and Desmond called me up and said, hey, you know what, Senio, the guy that you introduced, he just bought the machine within five days. Wow, within five days. I took one month to design, and I thought I was intelligent. Okay, anyway, so he bought the machine, so I got, I got worried and I also got curious. Why did you make the decision so fast? Were you, was it a rational decision or were you irrational about it? So I called him up and asked him, what, what happened? Tell me what happened that made you buy the decision. It's a big decision, yeah? You know, it's a big financial commitment. Within five days, you made the decision. So he said, why not? It makes perfect sense because within five days, I saw so much of a change in my wife's face. And the logic and when Desmond explained and everything, it meant, it meant so, I mean, it, it was so logical, I said, why not? It, made, it really is making a difference. Now, two months later, when I was giving a talk, he came in, he was sitting in the audience like this, and I asked for testimony, and he stood up and gave his testimony. And he said, he said this, which, which blew my mind again, because he said that the face of the wife was full with these black, black, black marks and all that. And within two months of drinking this water, he says, now I have to stare at her very hard and I can see a very faint black scar on the face. Imagine that. And she's been trying to cure this for 10 over years with steroidal creams, spending hundreds of dollars with doctors. That's powerful, isn't it? But the next thing that he said was even more powerful. He said because of that, his relationship with his wife had changed, had become better. Why? Because face is everything, isn't it, for us. Right? If the face is, is looking the way it's looking, it affects your personality, it affect, affects your self-esteem. So the wife was refusing to go out, wasn't going out that often, did not become sociable. It was affecting the husband and wife's relationship. So guess what? He said, this machine saved my relationship. It kind of changed it for that. And I said, wow. So at that point in time, I took, that, I took whatever he said and I said, I went back home and I, I started thinking to myself, what am I doing? I got this powerful machine. It has got the ability to change so much of lives and I'm sitting on it and just drinking it to myself. Am I being selfish or what? So I, I, that night itself, I drafted an email and sent it out to about 200, 250 of my contacts in my email. I sent it out. Thinking, oh, guys, listen, this water is amazing. You know, it's doing so much of things. I'll give it to you free, just come and collect it and I want your life to be improved. Yeah? Would you do that? Well, I did that anyway. So, after I did that, the very next day, a good friend of mine, his younger brother came and saw me, called me up, fixed an appointment and came back in Chinatown. I live in Chinatown. This friend is actually a very, very, very close friend. I've been, I've been uh, uh, friends with him since our secondary school days from RI. Okay? And this friend, and the mother is like my mother. Because I've, I've gone to the house, I've eaten the food and stuff like that. And the younger brother came back and said that the mom is in a very serious condition. She was in SGH, her leg had been amputated and she was not recovering, so she was in a very, very bad state. So I said, what happened? And he said, what he said kind of like really saddened me, which is one of the reasons why I, I, I started doing this a bit more strongly. 
What happened was the mum's leg, right leg, because she's highly diabetic, she's about 77 years old, there's no circulation. So the leg, there was a blockage. They did one operation and put a stent in it, and the blood refused to stop clotting. And they did another operation, put a stent in it, the blood again refused to stop clotting. So the doctor said, we need to amputate your mom's leg because it will die. The operative word is it will die and the poison will then affect the liver and at her, at her age, she won't be able to cope with it. So they had already done that operation. It's sad, it's really very sad because if you saw the video that I alluded to earlier, which I suggest you all watch it, in it you will see a very elderly Japanese man. His feet is completely gangrenous. His toes are rotting and falling off. They are really literally rotting off. Okay? And, as, and his leg is actually marked for amputation. Up to the, just above the ankle or something. And as the last ditch effort, the doctors will do this treatment. They will take the water from this machine, soak that water in strong acidic water, which is produced by this machine, and make him drink about 5 liters of alkaline water. And in less than a week, they will save that food. And you will see that in the video. You will see this old man walking with his foot perfectly all right. Very happy. Now think about this. In Japan, they save a gangrenous foot, something which is completely rotting. Of course, they couldn't save his toes. Eh? The toes are all gone. There's like a stuff there. But over here, they amputate the foot saying that it will die. The, the, my, my, my friend's mother-in-law, my friend's mother's foot wasn't even that bad. Sad, isn't it? Very sad. But that's, that's our our what we call healthcare system. It is actually wrongly named healthcare because it is basically a sick care. Because think about it, the doctors here only go after the symptoms. They only help you manage your sickness. If they're really if, if really it is about healthcare, it will then talk about how to prevent it. Am I right? That's what will happen. Now why am I saying that? Because there's another person here, his name is Dr. Ko. He's a gynecologist, a retired elderly gynecologist. One day he was giving a talk, and in it he mentioned about how his good friend of his, about 50 something years old, went for a medical checkup in the beginning part of the year. And in that medical checkup, he was given a clean bill of health. All his treadmill tests and everything came back perfectly healthy, no problem, nothing whatsoever. So he's, he, he's going there thinking he's healthy, he's healthy. And within six months of that medical test, He's diagnosed with cancer. Now think about that. So that's when Dr. Ko said, so really what is healthy? What is healthy? Just because some medical tests tell you that you are healthy, you are healthy, because they are not testing for the what they should be testing. They are testing for you here and now. Whether there is a problem with your heart, the way it's beating and all that. But what's going to happen six months down the road, they can't tell you. And the real measure of health is actually your acid and alkaline balance. That's what he said, the doctor. And he's an expert. And he's an acknowledged expert because you will listen to doctors who won't listen to people like me who don't have a doc doctor education. Am I right? <laughs> so and he said that he said the real word is otherwise his friend would if the fact that his friend was his friend's body was ripe enough for cancer to take root, you, the doctors would have found it out. They wouldn't have turned around and given him a clean bill of health. Because they only manage the sickness after it manifests itself. They are not in the habit of preventing. Okay? So which brings me to this. Okay, this acid alkaline balance stuff. Okay? So by the end of this today's presentation, you will understand. What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to try and give you basically there's three main reasons why our body gets you know gets this kind of degenerative diseases. And if by the end of this presentation, if you begin to understand what are the three main root causes of all degenerative diseases that you, are, you will be, you might get subjected to. And if, and if that causes you to change a little bit of your lifestyle, you know, and so that you can keep all of this in, all of this disease from ever coming on to you, would that be good? Would your time have been worthwhile? If at least, you know, you by then, you know. Now, if it, if it causes you to take some very positive action, go out there and do something about it, it's even better. But that's your choice. Okay? Yeah. With that, let me get on with this presentation about with this uh, Kangen Water presentation. You are here, this is called Kangen Water or the company is called Energic. You all do know that, right? Okay? Kangen is a Japanese word. Okay? 
Kangen is a Japanese word and the, and the, the origin of the word the company decided to name this water Kangen water because Kangen means return to origin return to origin by taking this water we are trying to bring your body to its original state of health that's what it all means okay and we know all lives depend on water that's a picture of everybody including whether it's a plant or animals or human beings they all depend on water water is so important this company's motto is change your water change your life and trust me by the end of this presentation you will know it will change your health it will change your life it will change the lives of people around you how do I know? Because it changed mine. Okay. The root cause of degenerative diseases. There are three basic root causes of, of all degenerative diseases. Okay. The first one is called oxidative stress or free radical damage. How many of you are familiar with that? Do you know what's free radical? Anyway, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it in a while. Okay. The second one is acidosis, which is too much acidity. And the third one is dehydration or lack of water. Lack of water. Okay? First one, let's go back into this. Oxidative stress or free radical damage. How many of you know what is free radical damage? How many of you know? Do you know? No? Okay. Free radical damage. What are free radicals? Free radicals are, there is two words. One is free, one is radical. <laughs> In this case, free doesn't mean good. <laughs> okay? Free means there is no function. There is no function to these radical substances in your system. They don't serve a purpose. Right? Radical means they radicalize your system. Now, what is oxidative? They cause oxidative stress and I'll explain to you in a short while what it means. When you cut an apple and give it out there, it gets black, right? That's oxidation. Oxidation. Okay? If you leave some metal object out in the open, it rusts. If you leave it long enough, the rust will completely eat up and it will collapse. It's actually a decay process. I think you get the picture. In the human body, you get this. You are born like that, pink and nice and chubby and healthy and all that. By the time you go to the grave, you look like that. Correct? That's oxidation. Okay? Oxidative stress. Caused mainly by free radicals. Okay? Living tissue plus oxidation equals to sickness and aging. Okay? Kangen Breakthrough Water Technology, actually what it does is it gives certain properties of water which allows your body to detoxify because it is filled with a lot of antioxidant properties. And because of that, the water has antioxidation, anti-inflammatory, and anti-aging characteristics. Just a little bit more about free radical damage. This guy is a is is a famous guy. Okay, you and I, I did not know about him until I did, did the research. But that's his qualification. He's a professor of pathology and director of cancer prevention, natural products research. You can read it all there. He also advises World Health Organization on some matters and all that. So he's a quite a learned guy. Now there's something that he said, and I want you to read this. Okay? He said this. If free radicals are produced in the DNA, the DNA becomes transformed and it becomes mutated. And a mutated and transformed DNA will produce cancer, leukemia, lymphoma, diabetes, kidney problem, liver problem, and almost every disease is related to the damage caused by these free radicals. If we remove the damage we are causing ourselves by, because of these free radicals, then all these diseases can be prevented. It's a very powerful words. All. Yeah? For those of you who don't know what free radicals do, free radicals are unstable substances. As I said, they are free. They got no function. And they are very unstable. They are like scavengers. They are like parasites. They are unstable because they have lost an electron. Okay? And until they get that electron, they are going to be unstable. So in your body, and by the way, in your body per second, there is a lot of free radical damage that is going on. Okay? The air that you breathe in, the pollution that comes in, becomes a free radical. Your metabolism throws out acidic waste and there is also free radical which is called active oxygen. Okay? And then you've got, you take in inadvertently a lot of pesticides which is laced on your fruits and vegetables and all that, that becomes a free radical. Okay? So there are many ways in which free radicals get into your system. Because today we live in a very polluted environment that pollution causes free radicals going. Now, in your system, in your body, these free radicals are looking for an electron. They are very unstable. So absent anything else in your body, they will latch onto a good cell and suck the electrons out from your good cell. 
The process of, of removing that electron from your cell is oxidation, is oxidative stress. It diminishes the functionality of your cells and the cells are the building block of the tissues and the tissues become your organs, your organs become the body eventually. So the whole body gets affected by this. So 16 years ago I found out about this and then you take, go out there in the market and you can buy, pay hundreds of dollars and you can buy. In Nature's Farm, in Guardian Pharmacy, you can pay and buy because it's a multi-million dollar industry. What is known as antioxidants. Are you all familiar with that? Are you all familiar with that? The most common antioxidant is vitamin C. Okay? The more better sounding ones are something called pycnogenol or grapeseed extract. Pycnogenol is from uh, something called the pine bark extract from the Pyrenees mountain and all that. Now, a little known fact, you can research this, yeah? A little known fact is that vitamin C, while it is an antioxidant, when it donates, okay, what an antioxidant does, how does it become antioxidant? It's because it can donate an electron to the free radical, thereby, thereby satisfying the hunger of this free radical. But little known fact is that vitamin C, when it donates an electron to a free radical, itself becomes a free radical. A bit a slightly lesser damaging free radical than the original free radical. Do you understand? So which means it still has to, it's a free radical in your system. So you can go out there, pay hundreds of dollars and buy these things. Or you can just drink this water. Right? Because this water is filled with free radical. Do you want to see that? Do you want to see that? Would it be good if I show it to you? Yeah, rather than just telling it to you. But before that, just hold on for a second. If you look at that chart, it says free radical oxidative stress is implicated in all of this. Take a look at the chart, look at all the diseases that you see down there and I am very sure you will find them to be very common today in today's world. A lot of your friends, relatives would have been affected by any one of them. In fact, every organ in your system is affected by free radical damage. Okay? So, here's a demonstration. Here's, here's where we want to show you one, the first property of this water. Are we ready for it? We are? Okay, good. What we are going to do is we are going to measure with this instrument. This is, a, this is a neutral instrument. It's an instrument made by the American Marine Inc. It is meant for aquariums. Because you stick this in the side of the aquarium, you leave it there. If the rating goes too high, all your fishes will die. That means there will be too much of oxidative stress in the water. So, it reads millivolts. Millivolts measures the passage of electrons. So when it's positive, it means this water or substance that I dip this into doesn't have electron and is hungry, is looking for electrons, so it's positively charged. In other words, that substance is a free radical. Okay? That substance is a free radical. Okay. So what are we going to do? For today's purpose, we are going to sample some, some water, all the common water that you would have been drinking anywhere. Yeah? And then we're going to test what's going to happen. Okay. okay, first up we've got this. And this kind of like represents all aerated water that you get out there. Coke, Pepsi, 7-Up, everything. Yeah? And then you've got 100 plus. How many of you like to drink 100 plus? How many of you think this is good? It is, yeah? It is supposed to have a lot of salt and replacement and all that. We'll see in a short while what it does to your system. And then we've got some sampling of water. Now if you've got a particular water that you like to drink, that you think is very good, like Evian. How many of you drink Evian? How many of you only will drink? No, none of you here. Okay, that's okay, smart. Because I, you know, it's interesting how, the, with, because of marketing, you end up paying three times the price and get one third the quantity. And you think it's so good. Now this is just uh, distilled water. Okay, that you can get in the supermarket or something. This is another water which says natural mineral water. It's called sparkle. Yeah. And then for good measure, we've got tap water. Okay, this is tap water just taken from Singapore's tap. One of the cleanest in the world. Yeah. Don't make fun because it is one of the cleanest in the world. We live in a country where if the water is not drinkable, the tap, the tap will specify it's not portable. Other than that, any water anywhere in Singapore is drinkable. Did you all know that? If you go to some countries, the water is, you got to assume that it is not drinkable. Unless they tell you it is drinkable. In Singapore, it is the other way around. You got to go down to an industrial estate to see a sign saying not portable. How many of you have seen any tap like that with not portable? Have you? You have, right? Yeah. Unless it says that it is drinkable. So I used to drink even from the toilet, not from the bowl. <laughs> 
but from the tap in the toilet, yeah? Because why? Lee Kuan Yew 30 years ago gave that message. He said it is the cleanest in the world. Now this water is Utrania Kandal water 9.5. It is nothing but our Singapore tap water after it has gone through the processing with the machine. Okay? So this water, you don't have to climb mountain and all that to get this, it is just in your tap. All it does is it does something to it. It removes some bad stuff and does something to the water and you get this process. Okay? That's all that's what you need to learn. Okay, I'm going to for good measure I'm going to pour tap water here because we all agree whatever it is we want to wash, we use tap water to wash, am I right? Alright? So I'm going to use this to wash so that we don't get accused of contaminating one thing or another. Okay, so how many of you like to drink tap water? You've been drinking tap water. You have been, right? I I've, I've also been drinking that. Now, as I told you, this reading rates in Mary World. The, the number here, if it reads like 190 or 200 or whatever it reads, that's how, ox I mean, uh, it means per second, 100, like in this case, 179 uh, electrons get sucked out of your system. Okay, so the more positive it is, the worse it is for you. Okay, so tap water. Can someone help me and read this? And tell me what's the number? 3? So about 300 something. Okay. Let me put it in perspective. Okay, never mind. Okay, this thing is very sensitive. So it keep moving up or down. So we will not wait until it uh, completely settles down. We will say, okay, this is 300 plus. That's good enough, yeah? 300 plus. Now, that is how much? 300 plus means per second, 350 over electrons are getting sucked out when this water goes in. And we think it's going to give us life, yeah? Okay, let me just rinse it again. Now, this is one of those mineral water. What does it read now? Same? Slightly better? So it's slightly better than tap water, yeah? What? About 300 plus? Still above 300, isn't it? Okay. This one? Distilled water? Huh? Still coming down? But still all around there, right? About 330, 350. Let me rinse it again one more time. Let me go down to now 100 plus. What's the number? Oh, almost, huh? almost 500. Almost 500. And they say it gives us energy. Okay. And then you've got your soda drinks, your Seven Up, your Pepsi, your Coke. What? More than 500. More than 500. Huh? More than 500. Okay. Like I said, this machine is a neutral machine. It doesn't lie. So this is the water after it has been processed. What's the number? Minus? Negative? Can you see that? What is that again? Negative 600 plus. Now it's not a fluke, huh? People, this is positive, this is tap water. Let me immerse it back in again. What do you have? It's going back to positive? So there is a visible difference, isn't it? One water sucks a lot of electrons on the, out from you. The other water actually has got lots of electrons to ruin. Which is what makes it a very, very, very powerful antioxidant. More powerful than anything that you can give money and buy out there in nature's farm or anywhere else. Trust me. You don't have to waste money on all those things. If you're ever taking those things. Okay? Including vitamin C or whatever. Can you see that? Okay? Now all we're trying to tell people, okay, since most of you would have been drinking tap water, right? Most of the time, so your body will have all these kind of free radicals inside you. All we try and tell people is just keep drinking this and over time you will start removing the free radical damage or you will stop it. And by doing that, you will stop the advent of all those degenerative diseases in your system. Simple enough. Simple enough. That's the first property. So you've got a very simple way of stopping the free radical damage, which the experts have said is responsible for a majority of your degenerative diseases. Okay? That's phase one of these demos. Okay, so let me get back to the water. This is tap water. This is the processed water. Okay, like I said, it just comes from your tap. It's just that it's gone through the system, so something happens to it which is very, very, very powerful. So just by drinking this water, just by changing this water, you completely eradicate one major cause. Think about this. All the water that you get out there, the soda is about plus 400. Your purified RO water. Incidentally, incidentally how many of you know what is RO water? It's called reverse osmosis water. Don't ever drink it. 
Yeah? Distilled water, also no, no. Why? Because our water and distilled water do not have any sort of minerals. Okay? Your body's metabolism, in order for the metabolic activity to happen, it needs minerals. If you put something in which doesn't have the minerals, your body needs the minerals, you know what it does? It leaches these minerals from the bones, which otherwise ends up in osteoporosis. So if you continue to drink aloe water and distilled water, you will end up in osteoporosis. I know, because I've got a client who had that. Okay? And the research says exactly the same thing. And two years after drinking something called aro water, this lady has got osteoporosis. The doctor couldn't understand why. Because she is young and there's no history. So you can't even say it's genetics. And she has got osteoporosis. Because she was on two years, she's been drinking nothing but aro water. Okay? Then you've got tap water which is around there and then you've got a whole bunch of like vitamin C has got minus 100, green tea has got about like 200 and interestingly cod liver oil has got about minus 300. So how many of you would like to go out, go back and drink about one litre of cod liver oil every day? I guess not, yeah? <laughs> Definitely not. Okay. And then all you've got this, produce the machine. Yeah? It can go, when you take it fresh off the machine, it can be as high as minus 800. It's, the difference is not small it is pulled apart. On one hand you've got 400 plus and here you've got minus 800 which is like 1200